More. More Sukuna. Um. Now where were we? More. We were coming here because somebody isn't paying their taxes. Who would do such a terrible thing? There are treasure chests in this house. <laughs> I think both Craze and Kanan would make very good portraits for Aerobiz. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. Ah, bandits are the problem, okay. The National Guard. You know it, you love it, the Imperial National Guard. Yeah, sure. That's how that works, right? It's a nation. Yeah, the National State Troopers. I just love Cleo. Wait, this isn't our mission. And Paul just like, yeah, finally, I had to smash some heads. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pawn is just Ryu, right? Kind, Pretty much. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the bandana. He just put on some shoulder pads and decided to go fight bandits. Alright, so we gotta go bust up some bandits uh, before we do. Oh, come on! I want that chest! What about over here? Okay, you let me go over here! Dick. The bandits are in the east. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Oh. <laughs> That's some incidental dialogue right there. What? Just, what? You're, you're not a soldier, are you? I know you're not because you didn't hit me. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't worry about it. Hmm. Yeah, apparently the town doesn't think too highly of Grandy. All right, well. so mountains to the east. Is there a map? Nope. East is generally right. Oh, that's right. You have to recruit the character that gives you the map. How yep. can I be so foolish as to forget this? Bob the cartographer. Literally, that's yeah. it. It's really great how he shows up in each game, at least the first two. It'd be funny if they had, like, a character for every single thing you could do in battle, like having an apothecary so you can use potions. <laughs> the really isn't that far off. Yeah, the first game is kind of like that. There's a bunch of nonsensical stuff that you recruit and they do. You recruit a musician that lets you listen to the soundtrack. <laughs> Come again? Yeah, with a white flag who lets you run away. Yeah. So these ants are a step up from what we fought before. Flaming arrow, or flaming arrow is single target, so we will hold on to that for now. 
uh, the nice thing is that most characters, if they are like okay at magic, they are also maybe a little okay at uh, physical too, which allows them to keep up. Everybody in this party at least is at least average at attacking. Oh jeez, um, they actually kind of messed us up a bit. You know, uh, we should have front row. Front row all attack, because they'll do more damage than the back row. And we'll have the back row heal off the front row. Uh, the nice thing, and you may have noticed this, is the enemies do go after the front row before the back row. That's what it is. It's not exactly where they can stand. Like, it is short range people can only hit from the front. But, uh, long-range people... Alright, so what it is, is anybody can be in the front row. Now, I'm, I'm remembering this. This is coming back to me. Um, everybody can be in the front row. Medium people can hit front row from the back row. And long-range people can hit any enemy row. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. So, uh, an important thing that just happened right there, because it was pretty cool... Tier was about to get killed. He was at 10 HP, and an ant tried to attack him. But instead of getting hit, he countered the ant instead. Yep. Not yep. every character can do that. Is there a reason why Pawn doesn't seem to have a torso? <laughs> He's all muscle. Yeah, I'm not exactly following that one. Well, he seems to have shoulders, and he seems to have, you know, pants. But nothing connecting them. He's got a shirt. Ooh, a pointed hat. So I think that's a not exactly a rare drop, but it's not common. All right, these boars, these boars will fuck you up. Uh, let's use a unite attack on one of them. Let's actually just try and kill one of them. Focus fire. Look at—he doesn't have an abdomen. All muscle. Oh, I see what you... I think if you... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go first. I think there's a place you can find a blacksmith if you want to, so if you come here, you can have level 5 weapons. I I swear it's in the first town, but I could be wrong. Oh, I think this was the proper way to go. We always know that's not the good way. Eh, whatever. But there's items. There's treasure. In the game at this point does want you to be utilizing like the boar rune and your unite attacks in order to take out some enemies very quickly. Well, you had those five fights in the last uh, to learn that, so plenty of time. They they teach you the ropes. Also, they give you that free fire rune that you go. Wait, this is limited spells. I can't use this here. Oh, we got an antique. I can't remember if this is held over into the... Fucking God. We got an encounter with the ants again. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't remember if this is held over into the latter games that much. But uh, antiques they exist. They're items of varying worth, and you need to take them somewhere in town and have them appraised. So, like at a road show or something? Similar. I value this piece of trash you found in a cave. Three bits. I'm interested in this. It's one of the characters you get an appraiser who can tell you how much everything's worth. Yes. <laughs> For free. That's the good part. So if I just guess anything, you're going to say yes, right? We're seriously not joking. They make a character for everything. Ah. <sighs> I, 
Ah, so now okay. I found the place that has the blacksmith. It's to the south of Gregminster. All right, noted. We will travel there quickly next time. Yeah, and this is what you were talking about, about the uh, diminishing returns on experience. We only got 160 experience from that fight. Got some boots that we can sell, though. Yeah, the unknown pot. Hold on to that. God damn it. I wanted to give extra medicine to Cleo. So, can you wear the pot in your head? No. What game is this? Apparently not as fun as the one that you want to play. So... We're not getting a lot of experience for fights at this point. It is not worthwhile for us to fight, for the most part. Luckily, there is this let go option. If you get strong enough, you actually just say, no, you're free to go, enemy. Mm -hmm. um, however, you can't do this to the boars. The boars are not... We are not high enough level for boars yet. Um, the game is really good at this and kind of gets better and better as the series goes on. I want to say the second game may do like a you're less likely to get in a random encounter if you're overleveled. Well, and Earthbound had that thing that if you were too high level, it would just win the battle for you. And be like, right, yeah, right, right. Won. I was getting to that. Um, the fourth game actually does that. Okay. There is a rune that you can put on somebody called the Flash Rune. And if they have that equipped and you are strong enough you actually uh, just instantly win the fight. Oh, God damn it. I've chosen all the wrong paths. Yeah, I have, uh, it's really funny to watch you do this. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because the diminishing returns in one dungeon are pretty severe. Yes. Well, you'll, it's you'll notice not that, exactly like, a level cap thing, but it's pretty cool. Well... I, I don't really have an explanation for it. Um, we have... I think it, what it does is it takes... Oh no, because that wouldn't make sense for the diminishing returns. I was going to say it takes all your stats into consideration. Um, and because I bought like the good armor, that would be a good explanation. Uh, but it, it that doesn't make any sense. By the way, as someone pointed out in the chat, uh, it's really funny that those brown wild boars are called black wild boars. Yeah, I don't see the problem here. So anyway. Colors are hard. Defense rune is just a straight stat up. Uh, they don't show you people's stats. I am always in the like the the camp of increase like people's weaknesses. And um I'm always in the camp of put it on your main character. Yeah, that's a good point, too. And uh, honestly, everybody's pretty even, so it just up tier's defense. Uh, tier's gonna be in the party like almost the entire game, so it's not a bad choice anyway. Bandits go free. <laughs> now, is there like a boar whisperer who can tell the boars to go free? I think we just can't let the boars go free because we're not high enough level yet. Uh, also, I do believe there is in one of the games a character that can talk to animals. Who you need to yep. recruit certain animals. I believe it's the next game. I think he just has a rune that lets him talk to animals. That is like the canonical reason. Is there like a tailor who can get rid of your awful color palette sprite? No. Good. We do get an artist. Artist and sound person. There are a lot of people that join you to do basic menu stuff. <laughs> There's an escape talisman. That is how you can just warp out of dungeons. It'd be funny if you had to get a scribe so you could save your game in different places. You have to recruit a blacksmith. You have to recruit... An innkeep. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, and? I don't want to deal with that. That that looks fucked up. 
Nah, I'm sure you won't have to. I'll fight these boars instead. Innkeeper. Come again? You have to recruit an innkeeper. Yes. Can't you just go to the inn? You'll see. Okay. There's a there's a reason that you have to recruit things like blacksmiths and innkeepers. It's actually one of the things that I think is really rad about this game. I got the bits. Uh, Gotta say, I'm a real uh, fan of the, uh, the unite attacks when both of them jump at the same time. There are, like, the second one gets real crazy with the unite attacks, and then the, the game just keeps going with it. Yeah, no pomps and circumstance for this boss, just here you go, here's the boss. <laughs> time to fight a boss. I guess you have to. I mean, you've been running into all these ants, so it makes sense. Yep, then we are finally going to use Flame Arrow. To just outright kill one of these ant ants. Wait, this is just a woman's top half put onto an ant's head. Yep. Oh my god, I've never noticed the eyes before. I've never noticed that, like, it's actually just an ant. Mm-hmm. This is, like, that Dark Souls boss. Oh. And oh no! You might want to save that fire rune. Oh no! Many ants. I think your butler's about to get a new scar. Oh! oh grab me up! Grammy was alright. Oh my god. The ants keep coming. What are you gonna do? Well, we gotta put up the best effort that we can. Actually, they're not doing that much damage anymore. Can't you just attack the person in the back? You Green can ant. try. Alright, it's a scripted fight. <laughs> okay, fine. Ted, hold my beer. <laughs> what the? Yeah, don't worry about it. Mystery room. Yeah, Mysterious. that that is the appropriate reaction to him deleting an ant queen. <laughs> <laughs> when you eventually find out the name of that attack, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tara, I'll tell you when we get home. Don't ask questions. Don't be weird. Kana. Kana knows something. I don't trust him. It would be actually a really cool thing if you go backwards through the dungeon at this point and there are no more uh, ants in the dungeon anymore. Actually, I had healed everybody up pretty good before that, so we're good, actually. Yep. Also, I think an interesting effect here. Ted's usages actually went down by one. He he normally has two level ones, and now he mm. only has one. That's a level one spell. No, uh, it, see the weird thing is it's not. <laughs> it really isn't. Wait, 
Ted does... just doesn't know it's not a level one spell. So oh he used it. right, the the thunder. Okay, yeah, those you have to go to a smith to attach. Right. Okay, I'm remembering now. I don't think I ever use like thunder pieces or anything like that. They don't do much of it. So that mystery rune causes a gigantic black explosion, right? It's a black hole, More yeah. More of an implosion. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. So what happens if you cook something in the mystery pot? Uh. Would it like turn popcorn into kernels again? Sure. I apparently have a, a memory card attached. I don't remember doing that. Good. Huh. Oh, hello, yeah. Welcome to the stream. And have fun going to sleep to it. Alright. Here's Varkus. Why does the name Varkus sound familiar? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like there's so many one of our D&D &D campaigns named Varkus. It might be. See, now our pirates have run into bandits. Yeah. What are we going to do? Well, if I look on the ne'er-do-well weapon chart, I think pirates beat bandits. I mean, they both use axes. That. See, that's true. And they both do upgrade into berserkers. Fawn, I'm the renowned hero. Shut up. Just stop it. Don't embarrass yourself. Alright, so we have a pretty substantial fight here against many pirates. Bandits. Yes, many pirates. <laughs> um, many pirates and wait you. It's not... I can't remember 100% if we have to fight the two portraited men afterwards. So I'm going to save my use of fire arrow. Also, this isn't exactly a hard encounter. It's just a combination We've already of... been fighting these guys in the dungeon. Yeah, we've already been fighting these guys, and we've been running them from them because they don't give you enough experience. This fucking archer! Recruit this man! Too bad he's dead. Ah, oh, well. You done. He's dodged, like, two attacks. Well, Gremio's not exactly, um, the most accurate character. Okay, I was right. We do have to fight Varkus and Sedona? I think it's Sedonia. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna focus on Sedonia first. Get him with the Unite attack, do a, do a flaming arrow on him. Hey, fucking Ted, can you do that spell again? Nah. So Sidonia is about halfway through a Super Saiyan transformation, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Which one, though? Are they going to normal Super Saiyan and they had blue hair? Or are they Super Saiyan and they're going to God and they... <laughs> I'm going to stop this line of talk. Thank you. <laughs> well, also, like, if you're utilizing Unite Attacks and the Fire Rune, also really not too hard to play it. These guys are definitely a step up, though, from an earlier fight. Yes. But, who oh boy. Marcus is a bit of a tank. Oh, you know what it is? It's reminding me of Tarkus. It just sounds similar. Actually, Tyr may go down this fight if he gets punched. Defend. Oh, shit! What? Did he go down? He got destroyed. <laughs> and now he gets no experience. Oh no. Everybody else goes up two levels. I'm sure he'll catch up in further fights. I mean, he's the yeah. main character. He's gonna he be got attack countered. <laughs> destroyed. 
Oh, that's fantastic. I agree, let's get the hell out of here. This is actually going auto. The whole sequence is a little weird. Uh, so interesting thing, um, you don't need revives. If you're out of combat and use a medicine on somebody, they get right back up. Cool. I don't know if you can do that in fight. I don't think so either. But there is the reason that they give you the escape talisman. So, you're saying south of Gridminster? Yes. Let's go south of Gridminster real quick. Let's fast forward because the title, the overall map, is terrible. Aww. It's good music, but holy crap, do you move slow. The sprite is so cute, though. So, uh, another note, because this was when I was, uh, testing stuff, uh, I went to the overworld map to make sure that fights worked well, and, mm -hmm. uh, got into one fight with a red ant, with Tyr and Ted, killed it, they gained five levels. <laughs> Alright, so, there's Rune Fragment, they're Sharpen, Sharpen is pretty cheap for our weapons. Start. Yeah, we'll see that go up very quickly. Y you have uh, money. I mean, even if we had the amount of money that I would have had, uh, you could easily get everybody's weapon to at least two, maybe three. Mm -hmm. And weapon upgrades actually start to matter here pretty quickly. And in order not to actually trump, trump everything, uh, I'm not going to go past three. I mean, it maxes at five. Yeah, and you're not supposed to be able... I think five is 3,000 or something like that. If you're not supposed not... to have that this early. Eh, I guess. I mean, we were doing fine with level one weapons. We'll do fine with level three. I don't want to go crazy here. Alright. We're back at Rockland. Let's go get a reward. I swear, if he gives me a bunch of money, I'll be like, Welp! <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't he supposed to pay his taxes? Right, you know? That is money. Gives you 50,000. The state takes 49,000. capture them. We're just going to ignore the fact that he is claiming that, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> ah, right, it's 10,000. <laughs> this is dangerous, I'll hold on to this. Does, did Smite just get all of his sound effects from this? He might have. Maybe. Ah, oh, Kana, you're the worst. So you're just gonna keep butchering his name. Ka Ka Kanan? Yeah. Whatever. Who cares? He's the worst character. At least we don't have to go see Craze. He'll report the Craze. We get to go home, go to bed, whatever. Maybe we'll find a third bandana to wear. I think a yellow one would work fabulous. Maybe pink. more. Pink. You're right. Pink is better. We don't have any blue. Well, purple's kind of blue. 
So, newbie, how am I going to get the patch to take all these portraits and put them into Aerobiz? Hmm. It is a sprite-based game. I'm sure there's just an ISO. If you could, like, unpack the ISO. That seems like a lot of work. Hmm. That's weird. He wanted to take Ted with him. Yeah, really? nothing important. We have a thing to appraise, though. What's the pot? What's in the pot? It's a phase. Boz. Vanaz. Let's sell all this gear we don't need. Yeah, and that's what that's what appraisal does. Uh, they're they're appraised in the things that you can sell them. That's about it. So you look at that. That uh, vase would make you just enough money to upgrade all your weapons. Yep, I think that's why they put that in there. Back to home, though. It's time for bed. Like that they do like this is a good thing that RPGs don't really address sometimes is like they do address here that no we've been on the road we've been eating rations for days it is nice to come home and you know eat food no yeah. well, there's there's tea let's go down and get that uh oh A little over an hour. I did do crime. If you account for crime. Ted looks fine. He's fine. There's nothing wrong here. Hmm, I don't know. He's got an unnatural wound that is gushing blood, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> Help! Don't help. <laughs> nah, it's that's icky. <laughs> like I said, you can be kind of a jerk at this game. There's a weird graph, like, typo that first W is in capital. That happens a lot. There you go. Ted was not being a weirdo. Ted is actually 300 years old. What? You lied to me, Ted. What? Ted's weird after we just saw him use hell magic? Again, a custom sprite right there, just for Ted raising his hand. Yup. Good effect here. Ted wasn't attacked, he did this to himself. Yeah. Hey, newbie. What's the soul eater? Oh, boy. <laughs> This is getting into stuff later on, but um, I'll just say it's one of the, uh, is it 27 or 21? 7. 27. It is one of the 27 true runes. 
which is the big major overarching plot of all these games is the true runes and what they entail because there are regular runes like the rune that uh cleo there has and there are true runes which are very powerful Mm. and to say they're very powerful is an understatement they are world changers There's a good bit of underlying stuff right there of, uh, so Pawn is extremely loyal, but he's extremely loyal to General Leo. In that, the thing that he's most... Tio. Tio? Sorry. Uh, General Tio. Tio. Sorry, that was a first... Wrong slip. game. Wrong, wrong game. That's a different, that's a different general. Um... I'm sure if he met Leo, he'd be loyal to him, though. Yeah, like, it's just a very underlying thing of, like, while he cares for Tyr, he does not want to cause trouble for Leo. That's, that's a good plan, Pond. Super good plan. Yep. Get medicine. He is not looking too good. What is it, Ted? No. Yeah, okay, there you go. They, they name dropped the 27 true runes right there. Tear, do something for me. What is it, Ted? Or just, no. <laughs> Can you play through this entire game being a jerk? Yes. Uh, it will cause some problems, but yeah. A lot of these responses, like all the responses up till now, it doesn't matter what you say at all. There, there are ones later in the game that will cause some real problems if you are the jerk. Yep, there you go. Ted's 300 years old. Uh, Ted is actually in the fourth game. The one that takes place 200 years before this game. Yep. Whoa. You find him on a ghost ship. I think it's just like it's a ship that went adrift and everybody else died but Ted is immortal yeah anyone who has a true rune attached to them is effectively immortal it is the blessing and the curse something that actually comes up as being a thing in later games yup uh, again I don't know if I'm going to play that one but it is very much a thing of like somebody goes mad because they are sick of living. Yeah. They have been alive for so long and they are just fed up with it. So they attempt to destroy the world just so they cannot live anymore. Yeah. Hmm. So. Also, a lot of these runes have wills of their own, so they will push their wearer to do things. It's kind of like the intelligent weapons in a variety of different games and such. So they have their own will, which they will push on people if they're not strong enough to stop them. So if a rune gets on someone who's weak, they can cause a lot of damage before their body eventually burns out. No. Yeah, yep. continually. I'll take it, Ted, don't worry. Or just, nah. <laughs> Well, we have to get our uh, our thing of ultimate power as a JRPG character. Just very early in the game, it happens. Don't you know the hero's journey? You're supposed to always refuse it. Damn it, you're right. The hero is offered power and he refuses. Piss. Uh-oh. 
By the way, Ted wasn't kidding there when he said, uh, if you ever have something bad happen to you, blame me for it. Bad things are going to happen to Tyr because he has that rune. Bad things have already started happening to Tyr because of Ted. Yeah. Oh, this does not look good. Pawn, what have you done? Pawn, did you traitor me? Maybe. Did you do a traitor? Quick, sneak out your window. There you go. It's just, it's a really good thing of like, I think this would be lawful good. It's just like, being extremely loyal to one person, even if it is bad for other people. I'd go with neutral. Okay. You're right. You're, you're, you're right. It's more neutral. Well, lawful. Yeah. Lawful neutral, just being extremely loyal to one person. Having a code of ethics and sticking by it, whether it's uh, good or bad. This is the nerdy conversation. I mean, we've been having it for the last hour and a half. It's fine. Fair enough. I mean, 40 minutes, because this is the second video, and we're obviously splitting these in hour segments. <laughs> This time, no is kind of... Th th there isn't a good answer here. I'm gonna actually go with no this time. Oh, this is a th but thou must. Tear, they still think I have the rune. I'm gonna go along with them. And obviously just talking out loud. And all the other uh, bad guys obviously don't hear it because, I don't know, magic. I'm going to see, because it's been a different dialogue each time. All right, don't worry about me. I'll get to wait, too. All right, now now it's looping. Actually, I forgot to tell you at the beginning. If you talk to Craze when he's telling you to go to um, Rockland to the east, he eventually just starts screaming, Rockland East, go. Rockland East, go. <laughs> or something like that. Everybody's whispering. <laughs> just, you know, I could accept it for Ted and Tear, but everybody is turning and talking. They're having a little huddle. All oh, right, the back entrance. Oh, by the way, fun fact: if you had put that fire rune on your main character and then the soul rune overrode it, the fire rune would not have been put into your inventory. It would have just be gone. That's the power of a true rune. Yep. Ooh. There's the Soul Eater. An interesting note here. Although the main character has one, one level magic, uh, they don't have any spells. Huh. Plot runes. There is a very good reason for that, Hi. and something Hi. we'll get to soonish. Hello. It's me, I'm escaping, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> good thing what this is, tier is still a lower level than everyone. Yeah, he'll gain levels faster. Hmm, okay, this is... We can't leave. Um... Hmm... Maybe, maybe we can just stay at the end. Okay, there you we go. You cheater, you knew it was gonna happen. What? No, that's actually where you have to go. Yeah, I actually wasn't sure. I, I thought, like, you just leave. No. No, you go beat up the king. Uh, no. That would be a, an incredibly bad idea. Those true runes we've been talking about, I think if you talk to someone in town, they'll mention, oh, by the way, Barbarossa, he also has a true rune. Yep, he has... 
the sovereign co- rune. The, yeah, the sovereign rune. I thought it was conquerors, but yeah, it's sovereign. They don't always go into what the runes do. They just acknowledge that they exist sometimes. A lot of them, what they do are pretty obvious. Like, for example, there's a true fire rune. That's actually that the whole, does. That's actually the whole plot of the, uh, the third game, is the true elemental yep. runes. Uh, can I leave now? Okay. Everybody's in their party. Uh, so yes, that is why I was sort of hesitant on buying armor for Ted. Uh, Good old Ted. Ted's gone. Never see him again. And we'll never see him again. You're saying that so convincingly. Yeah, Shut huh? up, you fool. <laughs> so, just telling this guy to shut up seems like it'd be funny, but also, we better try to be inconspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> they just put a gigantic mustache on Tyr. Wait a minute, you look familiar. And entering stage right is... Oh, hey. I completely forgot the series of events. I didn't think we were running at this guy for a while. Nope. Left, right, listen. Directions eating. are not important. There he is, Victor, the best guy. Sure. I really like Victor. No, I actually like him a lot, too. He's just, he's a bit of a detriment on teams because he has extremely low magic. But man, he, he hits like a truck. He is a truck. Look at his size compared to everybody else. Yep. So is he a, a large or a medium? <laughs> he is extremely large. Except not. He is also, yeah, he is also extremely small. He is the smallest. Hey, you're, you're that rebel kid. We're not rebels. Wait, he said, well, thanks for helping us. At what? Victor, there's only one of you. So, the plot of this game is you start out working for uh, evil empire and then you get in trouble when you... Not necessarily an evil empire, just there were a couple people involved with the empire are evil. Yeah, right. just, it's the empire. And then, uh... Oops, my friend's a 300-year-old mage. Uh-oh. With a gem, or a gem, <laughs> a rune attached to him called the Soul Eater. I'm sure that's not bad. <laughs> that was a prequel to Soul Calibur, right? Yes. Yeah, actually. Also known as Soul Blade. So the game's very rude here, and they really kind of expect you to realize this shit at this point. But yes, Victor is short range. They also start Victor in the fucking back row. Victor, while coming in at a lower level or equal level to everybody else, has almost double the health. And almost double the power. Victor is very much a melee character. And almost half the <laughs> accuracy. He is a wild boar. <laughs> oh, does he have a boar rune? No. 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 Not yet. I don't think he can actually... No, he can put on runes, but he is 
He is very a, much not a caster. He is abysmal at magic. Uh, you want to get an offensive rune, a physical rune for him. Wait, is this is this fake names? No, that's later. <laughs> sure is hot here. I think I'll go in the shade. You're selling it, dude. Wait a minute. How much money did we just lose? I've never heard of Vlen Ankampf. <laughs> Real talk, how much of my fucking money did you just use? I don't think he took much of okay. anything. I, 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 he doesn't actually take money. Alright, that's a good place to uh, split a video. We just got to the actual overworld. Yay!